Welcome to the second video in our series on, well, time series. What is time series decomposition? So essentially in statistical forecasting, what we're really trying to do is take your data set and really break it down into two pieces, signal and noise. All we're really trying to do is try and understand the signal that's in our data set and extrapolate that signal into the future. But in time series, you know, since extrapolation is bad, we just call it forecasting. With that noise, all we're trying to do is really account for the uncertainty that we have in our forecast. And really, that signal usually is broken down into pieces. It's your trend your, or your cycle, as well as your seasonal components to what's going on. And everything else is sort of the remainder of the error term that we have. So when we think about this, we can think about it in one of two ways. In time series decomposition, we have both additive and multiplicative. And the best way to understand how we combine all the components together is visually. What you see here on the right hand side is an example of an additive time series. It really is the trend and the season are sort of added on behind each other. We can tell this because the amplitude of these seasons isn't changing very drastically. In a multiplicative sense, this new data set that we see, we can see the amplitude actually changing. It's growing as time is going on. Again, it's sort of multiplying upon itself. And really, all a time series decomposition is, is an exploration of our data. You should always explore your data before you really get into any modeling, and that's what we're doing here. So with a time series decomposition, we can break down our original data into the trend piece, the season piece, and everything else. So if we were to isolate that seasonal component, you can actually see the seasonal wave that's going through our data set. And with US Airlines passengers, every 12 months or so, there seems to be a seasonal up and down to the number of passengers that are there. We can remove this seasonal component from our original series, and now we have what we call a seasonally adjusted time series. So when you have seasonally adjusted data, all we've done is remove that seasonal piece. If we wanted to, we could take out the error term as well and really just understand the underlying trend to what's going on here. Now, how do we actually calculate this trend and how do we calculate this season? Well, in classical decomposition, we just basically take moving averages for trend as well as just overall general averages for season. But that's a classical way of doing things. More modern techniques involving decomposition use what we like to call low S regression or locally estimated scatter plot smoothing. Some people call this localized regression. And that's really how we get this trend line. Wait a minute. You're not quite sure what low S regression is? Okay, fine, fine. I'll include it in the video. It still counts in the five minutes though. Okay, so let's get this in here. So essentially with localized regression, we're gonna zoom in on a window of that data. So I'm imagining I'm zooming in on a small window of the data here on the left-hand side. And more specifically, I just wanna highlight one point. I wanna understand the smooth value of this one observation. And then you can sort of do the same thing for every point. So we have the smooth value of this observation. That's the one I'm interested in trying to smooth out. Well, I'm going to look at a local window of observations around it, as you see here. But what I'm also going to do is weight observations that are closer to this point of interest. So you can see here that the further and further in time you are away from this giant observation, the points are fading because they mean less and less. So it really is a weighted linear regression in a small window of time. So I can actually fit a linear regression on this small window. Again, it's a weighted one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the predicted value, that's this plus symbol that you see here, for that one observation. Now imagine I built all these little lines for every single observation in my data set, and I take the predicted value of each one of these lines and do this for the entirety of time. That actually smooths out and gives me my smooth line, my smooth prediction for each observation. And then you can do that and move this window across the entirety of your time series to actually get the smooth trend line. You can do the same kind of thing when it comes to season as well, to be able to get the seasonal waves and sort of a, a seasonal component. Whew, man, oh, running out of time there. Alrighty, so isolating pieces of the decomposition is important. That's how we explore our time series data. So again, we take our original time series, we break it down into trend, we break it down into season, we break it down into error. This is very important because some of the models that we're going to be doing are going to be isolating these trends and seasons before we actually model them. So whew, what is time series decomposition? That is time series decomposition, as well as some low S regression in under five minutes.